Hey gang, we're back with our second tutorial for the Joomla Lexus e Deluxe News Pro. In the first tutorial, I showed you what it can do and talked about the basics of Joomla and the basic module parameters that we have. So let's jump right back in and let's look at our display parameters. News Pro can do columns and rows. Columns go horizontally and rows go vertically. So you can set it for one, two, three, four, five, six unlimited columns and rows. So you can basically set up a grid. If we look over here at our demo, you'll see that Hover Demo 3 is two columns. So next you have Pages. Pages basically is if you want to have a slideshow or a sliding display, how many pages do you want to show? So if I have, say, three columns, then I want to have three pages that's going to go ahead and with Move Tools give me any effect I want to show 3, 3, and 3. So the display styles, we've got a horizontal slider, a vertical slider, a fader, a draggable window, and a zoom window. So let's take a look over here at the demo and see what these are. This is the fader style with multiple pages, so that would be page one, page two, and so on. The slide example, this is set up with three different pages and the horizontal slider. And these are the, this is the window example. Okay, so let's go back to the module and let's talk about the window width. The window width is only needed for the zoom window that we were just showing you and the draggable window. You have to actually set a specific width and height for the window. But for all the other displays, you don't need the window width and height. The transition pause is basically the pause between each slide or the motion of it. If you set it for negative one, that means that they have to actually click on buttons to change it. If you set it for 100, then it's going to, milliseconds will be 100 when it pauses on that. The slide duration, that's how long it takes it to come in and the effect to actually happen. Slide orientation, so if you're using the horizontal slider, you can select left to right, right to left. The vertical top to bottom, bottom to top. Transition type, these are the Move Tools transitions. You can have linear, you can have it elastic, you can have it bounce in. We'll go over that in a moment. Button style, we've included a plethora of buttons for you here. So it can match just about any template. And these are the buttons for the back and forward. We'll take a look at that in a moment. So now let's look at the templating system. In the first version of News Pro, everything relied on the module HTML template here, and this is your main area that actually renders the module. And then you can have a more area, and that will show a more area. This is the main content area, so this is main area, more areas down here for more. So if you want to have a featured article and then more articles, you can use the main and you can use the more. So this would be an example for main area and more area. And we can go ahead and show you an example now of main area and more area. Down here in the main HTML template, I'm going to keep this real simple and we're just going to show the title of the article. So we're going to do two columns and let's set it for two rows. Now let's go down here and address the more area. More area, we're just going to show titles um, but let me put a asterisk in front of that so we can define which are the more and which are the main. So I'm going to say more titles for titles columns. Let's set that for four. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit apply. And we'll go over to the demo server here and refresh a page and see what we got. Okay, so as you see, we have two columns and two rows for the main area. The more area, we have that set here. This is the more. So let's go back to the demo and 
let's enhance this a little bit. Okay, so basically you need to look at our documentation for Deluxe News Pro to get a real grasp of what tags you can use or you can simply go to the all tags demo and see the all tags demo. So let's jump over to the all tags demo here. And scroll down and we're going to see our tags. So we've got the intro and the title. So let's start with intro. And what the intro will do is it will show the full intro text for your article. So I'm going to jump over here and we're going to have title and a BR, that means a carriage return, and intro. Of course, you have to wrap it as a tag, intro. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And let's see what we got. Okay, so there we go. We've got our intro. There's our title. Here's the intro image. And here's the intro text. As you see, since this is pulling from the article, We've got some markup in here and widths, so it is pushing our template out. So let's keep this simple and let's go back and set it for one column. And it fits nicely now. So let's do a little bit of basic styling here and say the title. Let's give it an H2 class. H2 is your heading 2 class. So we have to open it and add H2 and close it. So we'll hit apply. Now we'll take a look at it and we'll see how the title looks. Okay, it looks better now. So this is the basics of it your title, your intro. And you have so many more tags you can use. Um, you can make this an incredible layout with your own custom HTML and CSS. So let's look quickly at our button styles. So I'm going to add a left button and a right button. And now I'm going to add three pages and I'm going to select the transition pause negative one. Like I said, what this will do is it will make it so we have to push on the left button and the right button in order to move the slide. Let's make sure we have the horizontal slider set and let's go ahead and apply and take a quick look at what we got. Okay, so now we have the buttons down here, and we can slide left to right. And real quickly, let me just show you a quick little markup here to center those buttons. Center, and slash center. And this is a very basic markup. We'll get into more advanced markup in one of the next videos. So let's say the button style, um, round red, let's go for something like a square purple. And let's set this for one row and hit apply. And F5. Okay, so now we got these little purple buttons. And you see we still have down here our more area. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And go back and check it out. Okay, now we have the more area gone, and we still have this. So we can go back here and 
give it a different effect. Let's go ahead and remove the buttons. And we don't need the more area anymore. And let's set this for pause 200. And let's use the fader so we can have a fading slideshow effect. Okay, now as you see, we've got a fading slideshow effect. And the transition is for 200, so that's why it's fast. So those are really the basics of it. But let's talk about what's new in News Pro and what makes it amazing. We've got our templates. We had these before, and they were real simple to use. It was our demo templates, just like you see on our demo site. And you could select say the tooltips demo, hit apply for our tooltips and let me set it to four columns, one page, apply and let's refresh the page. Okay, so now we have the tooltips example. So the basics of that is you can load the template in and then you have our custom demo templates. But in previous versions of News Pro, you really couldn't edit, edit them right in the module. You actually had to go into your server, into the CSS, and modify that. So what we've done in the new version is we've given you access to the CSS and the HTML markup right here in the module. So you can go over to say hover demo one and you can load. Okay, so now I've got the HTML template loaded and I have the main content HTML template loaded. And then here under advanced parameters, we have all the CSS for it. And this is for users that really don't want to go into the root of their server via FTP or programs like Dreamweaver, etc and actually have to edit the markup and the CSS. But it's still in there for advanced users, so let me just show you here where it is. Um, we're going to look here at FileZilla, and we're going to see here's our root install of Joomla. Let's go to Modules, and let's find the News Pro module. Open that up. Now we're going to see Templates. And here are the templates. So let's look at the Hover 1 demo. Your element HTML is actually the main content HTML. So this is in that file. The module HTML template is called from the module HTML. And the template CSS is right here in a CSS file. So now that we've loaded this into the module, we can actually make any edits we want. So let me go ahead and show you here, since we've loaded it, let's hit apply once I set this for two columns. And let's take a look. So now we have the Hover Demo 1, as you see here, and Hover Demo 1. Okay, so let's do a little basic editing. So let's say that I want to have three columns and there's not enough uh, space here in my template. So I can just go over here, look at the markup. So what we're doing here is we are loading um, the intro image with an IMG SRC and then setting a width on it. So it's set for width 300 right now. Let's go ahead and take that down to 200. Then we have our H2 here with a title. Then we have a P class with intro text. And then we have an AHREF with the link. And the link says read more. So let's go over and take a look at the CSS. And you'll see that we have a width of 300 and a height of 200. So let's go ahead and set that to 200. And we can leave that 200 for now. And go over here to the content. 
and say 200, 200, and that should be all we need to do. So let's go back to the module manager and let's set this for three columns. Hit apply. And see how we're looking. So now we have three columns. So as you see, it's very easy to edit any of the templates that we have just by knowing a little bit of CSS and HTML. So let's go back and take a look at a few other options that we have here. So inside the HTML template, if we wanted to call the avatar for the user, and remember it can pull from Jom Social, Community Builder, Fireboard, Kunena, many different avatars. We can set the avatar width and the avatar height right here. So we also have the max title link. Let's say that the title is too long for the area that you want and you want to limit that. So you can limit it however you want. And then you have the max title suffix. And so this means if you limit the title, let's go ahead and set this for nine and this is the max title suffix, this is gonna show a dot 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 when it trims it. So let me go ahead and hit apply. And let's take a look. Now as you see, the title has a dot 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 and doesn't show the full title. Next you have the max intro length, that's for the intro text and the max intro suffix. That works just the same as the title, so you can limit the intro text. Then you have the full length and the max full length suffix. And then you have a full text break keyword. This you can actually use if you want to show full text, but you want to use a character that it stops at. So let's say we wanted to put a <coughs> comma in. The first comma that it finds inside the article, it's going to stop the text there. And your date format, this is uh, using basic PHP functions. You know, you can have the year, the month, the day, switch those around. Just go ahead and look up PHP date function in uh, Google and you can find exactly what you're looking for and just many ways that you can display the date. And now we have the more area configuration. Um, this is basically the same as we just went through, but you have more titles. You can clone from the main. And this basically says, do you want to show the same articles that you're showing in the main content or not? More columns, more legend is to show like for a read more area. So if you want to say that this area is more, more, and it will actually show the title more above the more area. This is the color for it. And then we get basically into all the same settings that we had up here. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this now and we'll move on to the next video of which we're going to go into the advanced parameters where we look at the tooltip and pop-up settings. Uh, these are all use Moo tools and the slide effect settings and the hover color change effect settings. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful and I'll see you next time.